Hello. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. Naveen. Yes. And how are you? Are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you, by the way? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing well. And thanks for asking. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. And how's your day going? It's almost noon. Did you have your lunch or you're yet to have? Uh, not yet, and I have to. And what about you? Okay. Did you have your lunch? Not yet. Not yet. I'm I'm with the session, so maybe after this I'll have my lunch. Thanks for asking. Okay. And Thank generally, you, you cook your lunch, or do you have uh, another person's? I stay with my family, so I cook my lunch. Good, good. Yeah. I have a domestic help, but not every day. I don't need her every day. Some days I do the cooking. When I have to go out for training, when I go for the to the offline academy, I need somebody to help me in the mornings. Otherwise, it's fine. Okay. So I'm a full time trainer. I'm a language trainer by profession. This is not the only place where I work. Yeah. So just <laughs> introducing myself. I think we are meeting the first time. Yes, it is the first session together. Yeah, good. So my name is Rini Rose. It's there on the screen, and uh, I'm speaking to you from Tamil Nadu. Um, so as I told you, I'm a language trainer and also an author. I'm into language writing, teaching, learning, right? So, um, like, can you give me two things that you learned that can be added to your learnings? Like you've been taking a few sessions. Yes. So yes. can you give me two learnings? Something that uh, you are following today after joining the platform. So um, earlier, uh, before English theory, and I used it to speak very fast. Okay. So um, one of our uh, English theory tutors told me, uh, try to speak on moderate pace. Try to use a moderate pace, and uh, okay. that if you speak in a moderate pace, and your listeners can easily understand what is what uh, what is you are saying. So that what is the one thing. Um, that is the one thing I learned, and another thing, and uh, listening. You know, we have to listen to the person who is speaking to us properly. And yes. you know what we do generally, and we we just do, and okay, we are listening, and uh, like that we do, and we don't uh, concentrate on that what he is yes. saying. So we have to uh, listen uh, their words carefully and what they are saying. That is one yes. more thing. Yeah, generally people have got the habit of interrupting. They may not listen, and they may interrupt. So when we yes, interrupt, they, we they act out like mm, they act like they, they are, are listening. listening. Yeah, so. Listen to what is needed, and drop the remaining. Like you cannot force yourself to listen to everything that's not required. But whenever it's required, when you have to respond, I think it's important to listen, focus, and then give the response. Actually, there is an activity that we can try now. Are you ready for sure. it? Yes, I'm ready. I'll give I'm you ready. a word. Okay, I'll give you a word, and I'll give you the tense. You have to frame sentences. So, for example, if the word is accept accept and the tense is present you can say i accept constructive feedback or i accept whatever my elders tell me if you say i used to accept suggestions but later i used to think for myself so when i give you the tense you have to make the sentence with that word are you ready yes i am ready so i have this word ready the tense is future uh if my you know uh if my friends anyone if if they, they can give uh, if they give any task and uh, uh, i will ready for that for any challenge i will be ready i will, I will be, be ready i will be ready, ready. the task that my friends give the me task. it is yes. it is with reference to the future but present tense so i will be ready if my friends give me a task i will be ready to do it okay good can you complete this sentence in any way this is the beginning i used to drink 3 4 times uh, tea for daily but uh, now i am drinking just uh, twice a day but earlier okay, i used so to I drink 4 or 5 times okay so i used to drink tea i used to drink tea 3 to 4 times a day 
okay but yeah. now i've reduced it to twice or two times a day i used yeah. to drink tea okay three to four times a day now i have reduced the habit okay good the next word is i'm going to give you past tense and sure. the word is mm, deep deep yeah so past tense yes mm. any sentence and deep past tense uh whenever uh, you know whenever i watch a thriller movie i uh, i was deep into that story okay and i think so what will happen next and i will guess i i okay. whenever i used to watch a thriller movie i used to go deep deep okay? yes or you you can say i used to comprehend it in depth that's a different way of putting the same thing so whenever i you can also say whenever i watch a thriller movie i used to go deep which means now no longer you're doing if you say i go deep which means you're doing it always even yes, now yes i go deep so whenever i watch a thriller movie yes sir i used to go deep so for the sake of making the sentence you have used it in the past tense very good now you can ask the tutors to do this activity in the upcoming sessions you if you meet me i can continue this activity but now you have just framed sentences in the next session what we will do is i'll give you a topic and you have to stick to the tense because framing sentences is easy we don't have much time that why I, that's why i asked you to frame sentences but most of the time i'll give you a topic and you have to stick to a particular tense and keep speaking that is a sure. challenge okay so whenever we meet we can do that but suppose you meet some other tutor you can ask that person to do this activity or you can try it on your own after the session it will help you uh, sure so so i i need to stick to uh, past tense or present tense or uh, future yeah. tense i'll right. show you how to do this activity but this was different today's activity just write it down and do it on your own next time when we try this activity you will get it better okay you will know how to really do it when you are alone it's not always necessary to have a tutor you can take guidelines but you need to work on the tenses and yes. gradually when you work only you will be able to correct yourself you need to reach a point where you can correct yourself right so yes. like that when you do it consistently you will realize that you are making a mistake and you will know when and where to correct yourself okay, so shall i get started with today's less today's uh, yeah. topic that is home remedy home yes. remedy okay yes. so generally can you tell me like today we are living in this era of advanced medicine especially after the covid phase people are very conscious about their diet about their health so do you still follow home remedies do you believe in it yes i believe in it and okay. uh, sometimes i follow also and whenever okay. i like whenever i get cough or any disturbance in my throat and i'll just follow home remedies can you mention one remedy that you take when you have this cough uh turmeric milk and i use it to drink when i'm going to bed okay at night times and uh, one more thing uh, this we do rasam with uh, pepper do you understand rasam yes yes we use rasam yeah, we, rasam is we, an indian word Yeah. yeah and what is the exact word in english for that rasam pepper uh, it's will... some people say pe- pepper soup but it yes, cannot be soup. called mm. as a soup actually okay. rasam is different soup means when you ha- have a different consistency but to make the foreigners understand we say it's something like a soup okay rasam is not actually a soup uh, sometimes they so it's an appetizer it's not an appetizer also you can have it with rice you can yes. have it post lunch post your meals also it helps you with the digestion yes yes right. that pepper rasam yeah and when you have cold also pepper is i mean rasam is really good if you put pepper it it soothes your throat it's good for cough it relieves the symptoms that you have yes that helps you for, to recover from cough yeah okay anything else that you frequently use other than that for skin for cough for cold there are a lot of things that we have like um, as indians we make use of neem leaves tulsi leaves okay 
Tulsi leaves is frequently used for the hair, for cough, cold. Prepare that potion, P O T I O N, and you drink it with Tulsi water. Otherwise, neem leaves it's good for skin, for your yeah yeah. We're trying to tell yeah. you something. Yeah, and uh, we can drink. Uh, you know, we can add Tulsi leaves in you know in yeah. our drinking water. You know, we can. Yeah. Uh, uh we need to warm some water we t- we have to take some water and we have to warm that and we can add uh, tulsi leaves and we can drink and generally we can take raw tulsi leaves uh, and we can take directly and uh, that is also yes. very good for health tulsi yeah. leaves it's bitter but it's very good it's good yeah so always having a tulsi um, i mean tulsi plant even neem leaves near you it's it's good when you have the neem tree when you have the tulsi plant most of the homes will have a uh, tulsi plant yes and com- coming to the neem tree and uh, we take we need to take uh, this new leaves and what we can call like, what is the exact word for the fresh um, the fresh leaves yes fresh that's, leaves that's and that's very right that's not very red that's not uh, too old the fresh ones Yeah. Yes, not too old. Th- those are very fresh one, and if we eat that, and firstly it tastes somewhat uh, uh, another taste. But we, if you chew for some time, and uh, at that time you will know the taste of the leaves. Yes, yes. Neem fresh so leaves. Yes. People mix a lot of things. Neem. Sometimes they mix it with turmeric. They have, you know. Um, so let me ask you: How did you did you learn about these remedies? as indians we have it of our treatment uh, okay treatment so how did you get get to uh, know about this from our elders or grandma yes. Uh, yeah. this is what yes yes and we pass it on to the next generation so because they have tried they share it with you so when it comes to uh, home remedies we get it from our elders from the previous generation or people have tried it yeah Yes. and then we try it out suppose some people say you can chew garlic um in empty stomach if you are having digestion problems but garlic is not recommended for people with ulcer yes okay it can aggravate the problem it can aggravate the issue so when it comes to home remedies have you ever seen or observed people using it in the wrong way like excess or sometimes when you already have a problem it aggravates have you heard of such situations where you use of course you're using something that's natural but it worsens the situation have you read about any such incidents or come across such incidents uh i didn't read but you know uh, when i am studying and uh, i used to stay with my friends and okay. uh, my friend used to eat daily uh, two three garlic uh, uh, single what we call uh, The, the, sh- the yeah the shallot yes the garlic shallot and he used so, to eat shallot is different garlic bulb if it's only one that you're mm. into okay so it's just one piece from that so gar- garlic bulb is the whole thing and you take one garlic out of it yes yes one garlic and he used to take two or three garlics okay and uh, he and later and he got some stomach ache and he just went to doctor and doctor asked him and and what what are your habits and what is your daily routine what you take daily and okay. so he said okay. to doctor like i'm daily i take garlic two three pieces with empty stomach he said and doctor replied him and that is not good for you and you have some problem like also you have also yeah. so you you have to quit that habit is suggested okay. the doctor suggested that that is so what happened with my roommate that's what happened yeah it happens with different people like even turmeric sometimes when you take it in excess especially when you are not sure of the problem that you have you know it becomes a big bigger problem it yes. aggravates you need to know your body that is very important okay so uh, just looking at the word yeah uh we don't follow blindly others and first of all we have to yes. check uh, how our body works and how our body reacts to, reacts uh, reacts yes exactly so looking at the different parts of the thing 
shallot is small onions okay shallot is small onions bulb is the whole garlic i'm repeating it the garlic bulb and one piece is called the lobe l o b e lobe garlic lobe garlic lobe garlic lobe yes and when pepper is full you call it garbles pepper garbles pepper and then garbles. Powder, yeah pepper garble when it's whole okay the fresh pepper then you grind it and it becomes pepper powder uh, yes pepper powder okay. right and did you try any new remedy and you only what invented I tried? that uh no i don't invent anything of course i also get to hear from my mother from my grandmother uh even my mother in law they share a lot of things so for skin i feel something that works for me is of course turmeric okay raw turmeric then um you have this red sandalwood the pure form not something that you get as adulterated the pure sandalwood is good um then when it comes to skin also i've heard of neem neem really works for me then tea tree oil tea tree oil i thought was very you know when you take five drops of tea tree tea tree oil you feel the burning sensation but if you mix it with some other oil as the base it's very good okay. so coconut oil coconut oil works with everyone even for babies we can apply coconut oil then um what else i prepare my own oil like when it comes to the body and hair um whatever I, i don't use a market oil it doesn't work for me i get cold i develop cold so putting tulsi leaves or pepper garbles uh, small onions the shallots we prepare oil traditionally that is good for me it Great. cannot be kept for more than one or two months because it may get spoiled but it's good it really works then what else neem leaves definitely and when it comes to the throat i am a trainer i always drink uh, you know the dried ginger it's called chukka chukka okay yeah. dried ginger coffee every time if i take it consistently it creates you know heartburn it creates sort of problems but otherwise once in a while with tulsi leaves or mint leaves tea with tulsi leaves or mint leaves is really relief it's relieving yes. for the yeah, so these are some of the things that i've tried and i used to drink a lot of green tea from the market mm-hmm. but i don't think it's good recently i discovered places where they have organic green tea leaves i think that works it's not okay. very tasty we it's have pouches right when we when we um, and we have to dip yeah. that pouches in yes, uh, yes. So water the raw, yeah the raw ones are not very tasty that's what i found out it is not very soothing but once as you said once you start begin drinking it you realize that it's good for your health it's detoxifying but yeah. uh, you have the other green tea from the brands like lipton yes, or yes, afterwards yes all these kind of things but that has got a flavor and that's yes. not pure that's what i believe i don't know but the other ones really helps so something yeah. that's not very tasty is good for your health <laughs> yes of course 100% correct and what you add you you know we have to add honey for green tea right Yes, honey. Yes, so honey is better. Just, uh, you know, I'm asking you that uh, you that you honey buy from market or you just uh, you know from rural areas we can get you know that raw yes, yes, honey. Yes, yes. We got two bottles recently. Like they have this. Um, yes. They, yeah, they breed the honey bees, and yes. uh, they take honey from that, and that's got a totally different taste. The yes. the pure honey has got different taste. and yes yes we got it recently otherwise we cannot rely on the market honey whatever you get in the market it has got preservatives but sometimes there's no choice we may have to depend on things but whenever you apply when you take it for cough cold or when you apply on your skin for me honey doesn't work on the skin i get pimples but otherwise it's good to always go for the pure honey that's what i feel yes yeah. and we can add a, a lemon with honey and uh... with empty yeah. stomach that is very good for health lemon and honey with empty stomach warm, works warm water honey yes. mm. the lemon yes. yes not much little bit you just have that water early in the morning it's really good for your body yes. it detoxifies and a little bit of mint leaves if you add also it will be good yes. yes these are little things that we can do to actually refresh our body and mind uh uh-huh. and coming to the hair and uh, do you use uh, kunkudu kunkudu what is the exact what word what is that 
we call it kunkudukaya you know uh, from trees and telugu word penigri not pedigree uh, we we have to soak that in water and for next day we can apply to the hair air i think you're speaking about penigree the brown color not yeah yes. brown colors right yeah yeah brown in color penigree penigree mm-hmm. is very good for your hair it's like an anti antibiotic anti inflammatory antibiotic thing. but yeah, it is you know it's somewhat risky and you know uh, we cannot uh, uh, you know make it in instantly and you have to soak in yeah. water yes you have to soak it. you have to soak then if you want you can grind it into a paste and apply it i think it gives you a shine of course the smell is a bit i like the smell some people put shampoo after that but i think i'm used to the smell that's why it's not a big problem for me yeah yeah, yeah yes yes comparing it's to the shampoo set, that that works a lot and that, that is good for our uh, hair also yes, yes. yes it's good for your hair some people take it like they prepare uh, kanji in tamil nadu we say kanji uh, with with this fenugreek and they have it it's good to relieve pain body pain and such kind of things okay yeah. yes okay so shall i just speak, give you the feedback some guidelines okay based sure. on yes. whatever we spoke it was nice speaking to you now what you have to focus on is i'll give you some sentences when you say i used to drink for example if i say i used to drink it means you were doing that earlier and no longer you're doing it now okay so if you're practicing something even now you can say i drink turmeric i mean milk with turmeric but if you say i used to do it it means it means you used to do it earlier but now you're no longer doing it that's the meaning so used yes. to is earlier okay the next is while i was studying past continuous not uh, when i am studying when you say when i am studying you are doing it now that is present continuous while i was studying in college my roommate one of my roommates developed a pain and he was taken to the doctor that's when the doctor advised him to not have garlic all the time to quit the habit so past tense and past continuous together yes yeah? sometimes you may have to merge two different tenses to bring out the real meaning yeah then i didn't read is wrong you can either say no no i don't read or i did not read i never used to read read is the past tense of read i read a book i finished a book i read a book on uh, maybe home remedies i read a book i read a book present tense i am reading i used to read okay then if you say what you take now it is present tense okay what you take in the morning is is good like what you take suppose you take warm water in the morning it's good so what you take in the morning has got a lot to do with your entire day so if you take a cup of tea in the morning it keeps you brisk that's the belief so what you take means present tense whatever you're doing now your present status you have to work on this uh, tenses sure right uh, keep working on the tenses 